What is happening guys? Welcome back to another video. If you missed the last one, we dropped the truck off at PDR. So we don't have the truck right now. There's not a whole lot we can do, but there is one thing that we can do right now. And that is building our grill for the truck. So I did buy a grill. The original one that was on the truck was chrome and I cannot stand painting chrome. It never sticks, always seems to chip off. So I bought a black painted grill we're gonna cut it up and I wanna put some mesh in the grill and then we're gonna color match it as well. We probably won't paint it right now just because I don't have the paint for one. And for two, I wanna get the truck back and kinda of paint everything kinda of at once. There it is in this ginormous box. This thing looks way too big for the grill, but either way, you see I already opened it up. Let's, let's crack this thing open and check out the grill. There it is. So yeah, like I said, this is a uh, black painted grill and just the uh, just a stock style grill. So I'm gonna get this set up on the table and I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna do to it. All right, so my plan is I'm gonna cut obviously the whole center out. We're gonna have to lose a couple mounts like usual. Top mount, these two top center mounts are probably gonna have to go because they go into that kind of center section. And then I'm, I believe I have to lose that mount there for my intercooler. Other than that, I think we are good. Actually, this middle mount here has to go as well. So I, I am gonna have to lose a fair amount of mounts, but luckily it screws on the ends here and there's mounts here and on both sides, obviously. And then all these mounts on this side I'm keeping. I believe we can keep this top mount here. So there should be enough to hold this thing on. It's not like it's a heavy grill or anything. So it should stay on just fine. So I'm gonna get the grinder out and cut this whole center out and then we got to sand all this down nice and flush. We might have to do a little bit of fiberglassing on the top section here. You can see where it's kind of cut down and dipped down right there. And then right here also there's holes through the, that center of that mount. So we'll have to figure that out once we get that far. But for now, let's get this whole center cut out and we can start sanding everything down flush. All right, that's what we should look like at this point. So now we gotta sand all this down. What I'm going to get it close with is, this is a worn out one, but a little flap disc on these handle grinders work pretty good to get that busted down close. And then I'll just hand sand it from there. Get that as smooth as I can. And we'll see how flat we can get that. We might have to do a little bit of high build primer along with, like I said, on the top, we might have to do some Bondo work and fiberglass work to fill in some of these holes up here. but. Not a big deal. Let's get all this uh, smoothed out as best we can. All right, that is how we're looking now. Got most of it smoothed out. I still gotta touch up a little spots. You can see maybe something like that. But one thing I wanna do first is I remember when I put my factory grill on, this top corner was hitting uh, one of my intercooler pipes. It wasn't obviously, it wasn't that bad. So what I think I'm going to do is just cut this up maybe about a quarter inch and I'm gonna follow that line all the way around. For one, it's gonna get me clearance here. For two, it's going to eliminate a lot of body filler and fiberglass with these little spots here. That'll be cut out, so that'll be just be flat right there. Obviously, some of these bigger stuff like that, 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 we're still gonna have to do fiberglass, but let's take this and cut this. I'm gonna go an inch and a half 
from this line right here. I don't want to go too much because I do like having that grill kind of set in there deep. I really do like that look. So I want to keep it as deep as I can, but I don't want clearance issues. I don't have the truck here to test on, so I am just going to wing it and cut about a quarter inch out and I think we'll be good. ready to start doing some fiberglass and body filler. So we got it cleaned up. I completely forgot about that center uh, mount that we had to lose. I may, may still have to lose this one. I'm gonna leave it on until we get the truck back, but we got this thing all cleaned up and ready. So these top three little holes, we're going to fiberglass on the inside here, just so there's a backing for the body filler. And then, like I said, all these little divots here, we're going to use some body filler, fill those in, sand this thing smooth. All right guys, we got all this body filler in and sanded out smooth. You can see it looks smooth, it feels smooth, so we should be good to go. I actually still don't have the mesh. I gotta run into town, grab that mesh, and then we can cut it up. It should be pretty easy to attach on these. All we should have to do is drill holes in some of these little posts here. Zip tie it down, zip tie it to there, there, and we really shouldn't need to epoxy anything on. Usually I take like those zip tie bases and epoxy them on the back side and then zip tie through that. But there's so many mounts on this, I think we should be good to go, not even need any of that. Also, one other thing I decided I'm going to do on the inside, on this lip and on the mesh, I'm going to Raptor line it and instead of using the actual Raptor liner gun, I'm gonna try out using HVLP, get a little bit finer of a texture 
being that even from the factory, I mean, I guess it's not textured, but it's kind of a flat black uh, plastic and the outside is, you know, glossy paint. So I kind of want to replicate that with Raptor liner and I've never tried it out of an HVLP. So I want to try that and I definitely want a, like a finer texture. So I think that'll look really good. I think it'll be cool. Something a little bit different on the inside of the grill. And then the outside of the grill, the main grill is going to be painted body color. So I did go around the inside with 220 and scuff that up. That should be plenty enough for Raptor liner, you're not gonna see that deep of a scratch through Raptor liner. Now, if I were to be painting this, I would epoxy it and spray on some high build, sand the high build to fill in all the scratches and then paint on top of that. All I'm gonna do for Raptor liner is just epoxy and then spray Raptor right on top of the epoxy. All right guys, we just got back from town. We got our mesh in, a one by three foot sheet, 50 freaking dollars. I am so over these steel prices. But either way, we got it, we need it. So now we just gotta cut it to fit the opening in the grill and we can get some primer on these and get them Raptor lined. Well, I got the first coat down. I'll kind of show you on the paper. It's actually a pretty fine texture. There still is some texture. It almost looks like, like textured plastic, which is honestly what I was shooting for. And you're probably not gonna be able to see really the texture on that. You can probably see it on here better. Hopefully you can see that. So a little bit of texture like I wanted. Uh, I mixed up way too much uh, Raptor liner. I still got quite a bit in that cup and one coat barely even made a dent. So I got way too much mixed up, but either way, like I said, rather have enough than not enough. So I'm probably gonna do three coats just to make sure everything's covered and I got the material to do it, so might as well. So I'm gonna let this flash for probably a half hour. They say, Raptor liner says to do an hour, but this being reduced is so much thinner I think it's gonna flash off a lot faster. And they say the pot life is an hour as well, so that kinda sucks. So I might be stuck doing two coats. The next coat, I'm gonna go pretty heavy and see what happens. I definitely don't want the Raptor liner setting up in the gun, cause it will ruin it.
Well, there it is, guys. Grill is done and on the truck. Really liking how it looks. It looks kind of off right now just because it is black. I think once we get the actual body color on the grill, I think it'll look a lot better. Plus up against the white hood, the whole front end just looks kind of funky, but either way, the grill itself looks really good. I like how you can see the intercooler behind it. We did get the truck back, as you can see, obviously it's sitting in my shop from PDR. Um, let's go around it real quick. You can see the hood. Turned out pretty good, still a little bit wavy. We're gonna need to do a little bit of filler work. Obviously when it was creased like that, it's gonna need some work. So we're gonna have to grind some paint and do some filler work there. The doors, this one, let's close it all the way. So you kinda see, they're all dirty, but he got the shape back. They're still obviously wrinkly, gonna need a little bit of work, but the actual shape of the door is back. So very happy with that. Even this rear door all the way back, around this handle was pushed in and it's actually got its shape back. So we're not gonna have to load up a bunch of Bondo. We're just gonna have to kind of come through here and use some filler and smooth all that out. So that is gonna save so much time. Here's the roof. You remember that big dent, you can see there's, there's a little bit of uh, messed up paint there. So that's gonna need to be ground down and filler as well. But a lot of these other dents, if you guys remember that one there, Pretty big dent, it was pretty deep, and it turned out perfect. You literally can't see it. All the dings on this side came out, and that's just gonna save so much time instead of me going through, trying to pull those out and do all the fillers and everything like that. They look perfect, I won't have to touch them. So here is the bad part. Now this dent used to go all the way up into here. This whole body line right here was completely crushed in and had no shape. So the body line is pretty much back to where it should be. It's still pushed in a little bit here. So we might have to do a little bit of work right here. And then obviously this was so crumpled up. It's, uh, it's not perfect, but we should be able to get in here, grind all this out of here, smooth it out with some body filler. I might do a little bit of hammering on it just to see some dolly work, just to see if we can get that flattened out a little bit better. But all in all, this is much, much better. Like I said, it's gonna save me so much time with the bodywork aspect of this. Oh, one thing I forgot about, I picked up this uh, little emblem for the grill. I think I'm gonna put this thing right, somewhere right in there. I think that'll look really good. If some of you don't know what this emblem is, the old school, like vintage 80s Toyota trucks had this kind of stripes on the paint. It wasn't gray and white. It was a red, orange, yellow. But I thought these colors would look a little better. So we picked this up. I am going to pull the grill back off and let's get this emblem on. Well guys, very happy with how the grill turned out. As far as getting into paint work, it might be a little bit till we can actually dive into this thing because I ordered some wrong products. So I actually had to order more and it's taking its sweet time. USPS, every FedEx are all so backed up right now. Everything is taking like over a week to get to me. So not sure what we're gonna do in the meantime. I don't want to strip these doors because I don't have my epoxy. You don't wanna let bare metal sit for too long. It oxidizes, it starts to flash rust. You just don't want to leave bare metal sitting out. Even in the shop, there's gonna be some moisture and it, you have the chance of it oxidizing and rusting. You just don't want that. What you wanna do is strip it down and immediately put your epoxy on it to seal it up, make sure nothing gets to that bare metal and attacks it. And honestly, I've always done the old school way with body fillers on bare metal but there's been so many people that have talked me into epoxy first and then fillers, just because epoxy has amazing corrosion resistance, whereas body fillers really don't. They do, but not as good as uh, epoxy. So that's the game plan. We're going to strip these doors back down 100%. We're gonna epoxy them, and then we'll do all of our body fillers, all that good stuff on top of the epoxy, and then we'll do our high build primers, get it 100% perfectly flat and then we can move on to paint. But that is all in the future. We gotta figure out what we're doing in the meantime while we're waiting for all of our stuff so we can get to work on this thing. Well guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helps you out. If you want to build one of these grills, really not too bad. Get yourself some fiberglass, get yourself some body filler, and honestly, 
I really, actually really do like the texture of the Raptor liner out of the HVLP. I think it turned out amazing. I wasn't going for a super textured look, so this turned out really good, exactly what I was looking for. Well, that's it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Go smash that thumbs up button, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.